What's up everybody? Welcome back to Axum. My name is Junior and today we have a fresh batch of Pokemon Sword and Shield rumors and leaks. So let's get started. So once again we have a whole bunch of new rumors and leaks coming for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And before we jump into them, just a couple of warnings. First off, these are rumors. So take everything we say with a grain of salt. And then Later on in the episode, there's some spoilers, so if you don't want to be spoiled on possible things about Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, we'll give you another warning before then, but just know there is a spoiler alert, so beware. Okay, so we've been having a bunch of news coming out on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, Nintendo, Game Freak, and the Pokemon Company have been all over the place. They've put out tweets, um, done interviews, quick videos uh, on their channel, as well, as well as a 24 hour live stream that didn't show much information. But with all that, with everything we've been showing, shown, there's still stuff we we're missing. And if we had this piece of information, I think we would say, okay, Pokemon Company, Nintendo, Game Freak, stop talking about this game. We don't want any more spoilers. We, we just want to go into this game fresh. And we love what you're doing, but just, you know, stop talking about it until release date. But we don't have all the information that we need. Um, we have everything except for this bit of information, which is the original three Pokemon, the starters, and their evolutions. So, so far we've gotten a bunch of information about Galar, the buildings and gyms, the people, um, the teams that we're going to be going against, a bunch of new Pokemon, some Galarian versions of our beloved Pokemon, a lot of good information, but once again, nothing about starters at all, other than just who they are and their types, but nothing on the next evolution and the third evolution. So that's been a bit of a shame. So. For my, my understanding, we need to get that information before the release date. And according to this rumor, there should be a new, not e maybe not a Pokemon Direct or anything big, that big and formal, but more of a smaller event, maybe just a video, that shows us the new, uh, the three trans uh, starters, as well as their evolutions, all three evolutions. So, for this rumor, it says that we should be getting a either a Nintendo Direct or some kind of showcase on November 13th, which is actually just two days prior to the release date. Now, I don't know if that's correct, but I do think that there is going to be some kind of event before launch. So this rumor came out and this may be some confirmational bias on my part, but I do believe that there will be some kind of event, preferably um, early November, like the first week of November. So this rumor is coming from 4chan, so obviously it's not very uh, legitimate or confirmed yet, but I do believe we need to have a direct or some kind of event showing the evolutions before we pick up the game not two days before but at least a week or two my idea would be that they announce that they're going to have an event early november or late october and then either the first week of november or a week before the release they have another event showcasing the three starters and their evolutions so that we can finally make that decision. Now, I think most of us are already decided that we're either going to pick it up or not. But the next decision is which are the starters they're going to be. So, or we're going to pick from the starters. So, there is that. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into some possible spoilers. So, big spoiler alert here, guys. If you don't want to know anything about the starters or possible information about the starters go ahead and cut it off here we're going to go ahead and jump into the next part of this leak and what's weird about it is that they jump from the first part of uh, starters into the final evolution they completely skip the middle for some weird reason 
but that's what we got. So, if you're wondering what the final evolution of the Pokemon starters are, um, let's go ahead and check out what we have here. Um, let's say it says Score Bunny's final evolution is claimed to be a humanoid rabbit with a soccer ball, and I think that pretty much makes sense, right? Um, Score Bunny is already fast; he's running around, and the whole game um, revolves around soccer themes. So, uh, Pokemon that themed around soccer and running around and you know being fast that makes sense to me i could definitely see that it's just what kind of pokemon he's going to look like and from here they're saying he's going to be a humanoid rabbit so two legs maybe a jersey not sure <laughs> um but he's going to have a soccer ball kick around uh some fireball soccer kicks attacks and stuff like that i could see that happening um, the next one is for Sobble, which um, allegedly will evol evolve into a humanoid chameleon spy. So this is playing on that British uh, spy um, aspect of it. And that makes sense. You know, you have a lizard who Sobble in his initial stage will turn invisible near water. But maybe later on in the final evolution, he becomes a full spy. Uh, in a chameleon form so he can change his colors blend into the background you know the perfect spy kind of stuff um, and that makes sense and then the final one is for Grookey um, and I think this is pretty much confirmed now Grookey will turn into a large gorilla with a giant drum so those sticks that he has will just I don't know where he'll get the drum but he'll end up getting drums and using the sticks that he already already has as Grookey and then just banging on drums from there so that's pretty cool those are the three starters and their possible final evolutions as well as the possibility of having a Pokemon Direct or some kind of event in November before release um, to help us decide exactly which Pokemon we're gonna pick uh, and that's the only bit of information we don't have currently which is kind of weird um, the Pokemon Company and Nintendo, they've dropped so much information. They dropped big information in a small tweet, and they dropped a little bit of information into a 24-hour video, for, for instance. All we got out of that 24-hour stream was a, a Galarian version of Ponyta, which is great, but we need a happy medium here with like a 10 to 15-minute show, like five minutes per each one, and the three evolutions, their attacks, Maybe, you know, break it down like that. Maybe how Masahiro Sakurai did for uh, Smash Bros. Just go into detail with each character. Their attacks, their final evolutions, all that good stuff. I would definitely like to see it. So, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But that's all we got for today, guys. Um, if you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out. We also encourage you to subscribe to our channel and possibly consider supporting us through Patreon. And lastly, make sure to let us know in the comment section your thoughts on this topic. Do you think we're going to get another direct or some kind of video showing the final evolutions? And have you decided which of the starters you're going with already? But for myself and the entire Axum team, we thank you for your support and hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This.